Hi, I'm Mackie Mullane. I'm a designer and educator for Vintage, and I'm here today with Brita Halik to show you the Hawaii Life Necklace. And this necklace features some texturing and some patina techniques. Okay, so for your necklace, we're going to be using two different sets of patinas. In the first set, we have the ruby, the rust, and the quartz. And then in the second, we have the jade and the topaz. The jade and the topaz we'll be using on the leaves, and this set we'll be using on this center leaf. Okay, so I'm actually going to start out with the ring, and we're actually going to emboss that. We're embossing this using our fern fronds folder. Okay, so I'm just going to place that blank right on the design where I want it to show. Close it up. And then here I have the solo platform, the solo shim, and two clear plates. So place that in the center and place the side that says place the side down, down, and then hinges in towards the machine. Okay. Run that through once. And then you have your embossed design. And then always go in and use your relieving block and shine that up and that just brings out that really pretty embossed design. Okay, so you have your center ring. Now I'm going to be using the bench block and a ball peen hammer to be finishing these leaves. So for the leaves, I'm just going to be hammering the outside edges. Okay, do that on both of your pieces. Okay, so now for the leaves, I'm going to use the topaz patina and the jade. So for this com combination, you use about three parts topaz to one part jade. Okay, so take your dry brush and we're just going to be applying the colors and I'm going to mix those up. Just going to be applying the colors to the outside edges of the leaves. Okay, and when you're applying, you want to make sure you're kind of going in a more dabbing motion rather than a wiping motion. So for this, I'm going to use the paper towel and wipe off. I'm also going to go in with a relieving block with a dark gray side. And sand. And then I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to use a little more patina because it looks like we haven't filled in those pieces enough. Use your paper towel. And then go in with your next piece. And there you have your two base leaves. 
Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the coral leaf centerpiece. So here I've set out the ruby, the rust, and the quartz patinas. And now I'm going to apply that to my center leaf. So for this technique, I want it to be more of a solid color. So I'm just gonna kind of grab each color and blend, take from each and kind of see which color works the best together to make this color. So apply to the whole piece. Okay, and then I'm going to take some paper towel and I'm just going to lightly brush off the top layers of that. Just leaving the patina in the grooves. Then I'm also going to go in with the relieving block once again on the dark gray side. and relieve those edges. Okay, so now that we have all of our pieces ready, I'm just going to assemble them all together. Okay, so as you can see here on this finished piece, the ring that is in the center already has a hole punched into it and that's what we're gonna use to attach one of those green leaves. So I have my chain nose pliers, slip it through the hole and through the other and attach that. Okay, there's one. And then I'm going to take about an inch of my chain Use the side cutters. Cut that. Take my jump ring once again. And attach the second leaf to the jump ring. And now I'm going to take a larger jump ring and this is going to attach through the coral leaf and then behind that facing forward is our second leaf and I kind of like to hold it up and see which way it hangs from the chain. Okay and then attach that right to the ring. Close that. And then with this necklace, because the chain is so long, we're just going to attach the rest of the chain right onto the base. So open your jump ring. Attach and close. And then do the same on the other side. String it through. Attach and close. And then you have your necklace.